So today's topic is uh, now the tailstock of the Smarty. Uh, main thing is that I have uh, lengthened it, as you can see, and I also have uh, introduced um, a pair of thrust bearings at the rear. Uh, so I wanted to divide this uh, topic of the tailstock in two parts, namely this, just showing you how I did this lengthening and the uh, and, um, thrust bearing. And uh, the last part would be the setup and measurements and also then adjustments, scraping and such, which is more general. So the original tailstock travel was a meager uh, 4 centimeters, or at least the length of the screw, so minus, it was roughly only an inch and a half, I think. If we do an inch conversion, an inch and a half. So of course uh, that was far less than the ideal. So I decided to modify the tailstock and uh, one of the things was to lengthen the barrel. To do this, of course, I needed the longer screw. MT3 taper. And uh, I think the markings here uh, represent some 50 or 60 millimeters while the screw only was 40. So far too short uh, tra travel. I've seen others um, do the same but uh, omitted to lengthen the barrel and thereby losing the, at least uh, my mind the support needed. In my case I then lengthened this barrel braced on the section and in this way I increased the travel to more than four inches approximately 11 centimeters actually. And at this point I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to do this modification and I've seen other uh, systems where you have an externally mounted screw either on the front, on top or at the rear and then with the hand wheel then a side of the actually the center of the travel. That could also be a way to modify instead of having it central. And with such a design, the knot will now be fixed to the tailstock body, while uh, the screw would then move back and forth uh, with the barrel. And at the fully extended travel, maybe a little bit, well, not exactly ideal. And this is how I did this extension. Uh, a square block here, uh, a little bit in excess diameter of what the barrel is, and then four long screws. This that would be the ideal. Um, instead, I had to use a little bit shorter bolts and then uh, a sleeve with a collar, you could say, because of the fact that when you look here at the a piece that I just made in aluminium now to mimic the thrust bearing seat, this conflicts with the outer diameter of this thrust bearing. So I had to rethink how I did this and um, my solution was then, as I said, to just to make the hole a little bit bigger and then a shorter screw which I located uh, inside here, the bigger hole, but then towards a collar in each uh, hole. And then I inserted a uh, another screw, a set screw actually, that was bored out, like so, the set screw, and then just bored out, but still able to then uh, put it inside here. As you can see from the outside, uh, the marks there, it's a little bit uh, big, at least uh, that's my let's say take on it, although not ideal, it functioned. Then of course not this screw but a little bit shorter but this could then be used to hold the block that I uh, eventually used for the thrust bearing. Because in this way the head of the bolt doesn't conflict anymore with the outer diameter of the thrust bearing. And the original nut was just uh, adapted and press fitted to the barrel. 
and then here you can see the thrust bearing at least one side of it and this arrangement would be duplicated on the other side so now I have uh, a travel of over 10 centimeters from the disengagement here until I reach the end of the travel in the screw now I put in It's still supported here because uh, what I've done is that I have just extended the barrel with the new piece here, uh, like so, I think. And in addition, then the thrust bearing pair here at the rear made it um, a little bit better with less play and also better feel, I think. So that was one modification I did, which I think serves this lathe well. The other thing uh, I made was to add a pair of wipers, way wipers, which of course goes in front here. Um, this together with the way wipers over at the at the saddle of course makes this contact so you lose about well an, a centimeter or so but still the, that's a useful modification i think because now it slides uh, without having uh, the potential of, of uh, that at least amount of grit being sucked in underneath Um, curiously enough, I find that um, this one, which is an MT3, I thought, fitting, that will be thrown out like here, disengaged by the screw inside here. But if I use a center like this, this will not enter to the same depth. So I need to, um, I think, to introduce some kind of modifications to the centers here to be able to use them. Uh, very simple modification. Just adjusting the length, of course, for me. So something like that, I guess. Like so. And then tight and releases. Now you have this adjustable. And this was an easy piece to chuck up, of course, with, um, with the equal diameter section here. If you just have uh, some tool that you don't, well, that doesn't lend itself so easily to that, you have to figure out something, of course, to, to fixate that in the chuck or whatever means. Other tools like this chamfering tool works okay. also okay hold out just just very close um, to see the difference I think uh, the modification I want to do, at least on the center, is to just to drill a small hole and, and introduce a screw. I can adjust the length uh, needed with, um, with a couple of nuts. So, bell center here also. So most tools, they disengage with a tang at least, most tools with a tang. Also have long reach, so to speak, with an extension. Like so, I mean, if you just had a normal extension like that, it'll be like so. That's also a possibility. 
course, some of these will have the added complexity since they are without the time to retrieve them. So how to retrieve that one when it's you have no tang there? It should be like this. So they are not meant to be really used in this configuration without adding. Well, you could add a, a screw section like I've done on the others. Possible trick. Just enter a ball from a ball bearing inside here. This just protrudes over so you can use the normal this way. Ah, same tool. I have such a hammer type. There it is with the bolt. This is also a possibility, of course. So bottom line I guess is be aware that you need this tang or to add so you have a screw section like I've done on this one uh, or uh, be careful when adjusting the screw length here but of course I wanted to or I, I started with this truck here with the normal MT3 taper here so that's my uh, let's say my um, decision to go for that length